Hello everyone, Flamble Gamer here. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. On the last episode, we got light the Light Sword, which is pretty much an upgraded Master Sword. So now we are going to go into the, the final area of the Palace of Twilight, which in my opinion is the easiest. And if you have the lights... I hate this part. If you have the lights, well, you should have the lights or, or you can't get by here. Then we can just do this. And if you have it out and slat. What? Like I don't like how if you eat barely even touch the um the fog, then it does that. So let's spin attack that away. Pick it up. Drop it. Can we skip this? No. Boosh. Now they die. Then take this. Take this! Then... Get on the... Oh. <laughs> I'm about to say, Link, get on the stairs! <sighs> so let's just go on back. Or go on up. And then, with this, we can just hit it, and then we can head on up. So we pretty much don't have to do anything. The, but we don't even need the saw anymore. And we can kill these things easily. And then there are a lot of phantom sand. Well, not phantom sand, but sand heads, which we can kill with one hit. And that... Oh, he dropped the heart. It's gonna appear right there. No, there's two more. Boom. Haha, double kill. Double kill. Triple kill. M -m 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 monster kill. <sighs> so, let's collect our prize. And if you think it's a small key, you're correct. So, what you wanna do now is go right here and do, stand about right in the middle here and do a spin attack. And it will glow up and go up at the same time. And then we can continue. Yeah, see what I mean by this dungeon is really short. We are definitely getting the sand in this episode right now. So, yeah. And let me just get something to put behind my head because I don't want to make my neck hurt. Cause that would be stupid. What you want to do now, if you want to get the boss key right now, do this, do a spin attack, hop through, kill these birds. Bird killing is fun. Then we can just claw shot our way up. See what I mean by this dungeon is really, really short? You can pretty much beat this dungeon about right now. We only have two rooms left. This one and the next one. Let's open this up. Yeah, and if you did not know to get the boss key, um, yeah, you're in for a big surprise. And spin attack. And then we can just jump. And yet it still takes off a heart. What you want to do, stand here, and slash both, and stand on this platform. And you can also hit these things, um, like the birds with arrows, but I like slashing them. It doesn't take as many hits. And you'll need arrows, trust me. Oh my god, that's a lot of them. Jeez. Go. And I hate the sound these things make so much. Bam. <laughs> I love how we just kill these things in one hit. It's amazing. And I hate the, like, the, the mishmash of just techno. Not techno, but synthesizer for the, um, whenever there's a twilight. Like, whenever there's something from the twilight 
near just I never pointed it out, but okay. And the key is going to appear right uh or not. Okay. Bam. 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 Okay, key right there. Aha! Open up. Guess what? It's monkey! Even though the bird is in the way and you can't even see it. Bam. Open this up. And we are heading into the last room of this whole dungeon. And then we get a cutscene boss. And now we are in the last room. Hooray. What I want to do is fight Shadow Beast. I'm going to fall from the sky. Bam. Spin attack dead. And he's going to send more. So get your spin attack ready. Um. Hello. <laughs> or is that the only one? So remember there being another thing. Where there's a lot of them coming at you all at once, but thanks for letting me know, game. I I I, I like yellow, not yellow, red. Okay, I'm just waiting for it to go off. There we go. Spin attack it. Then some platforms will go up like this. Then hop across. You want to do this fairly quickly, because the light will run out, and then that will not be good. So just shoot up here. I was about to say hook shot again. Then we can move on. See what I mean by this is a very easy, like this, just this dungeon overall, really easy. I think it's easier than the Forest Temple. Except for the whole Zant's hand shenanigans, but I never found that to be hard. I just found it to be annoying. And by annoying, I mean really, 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 really annoying. What you want to do, this platform goes under you, just drop down. And you better not fire at me. You're firing at me, aren't you? Aha, you missed. You missed, sir. Captain Sir Okay, sorry. I was making a reference. Hooray! And the key is gonna be right there. Knew it! Ha ha! Oh yeah, that's the um next room that has all the Shadow Beast one after another after another. Okay. There's I know there's something over here. I like I'm just probably forgetting something. It probably goes over. But probably like right here. Then yeah, we didn't go on this platform. Yeah, we didn't go on this platform yet. Hooray! Now head on in. Or head on up. And we are in the final stretch. This. You see how, um, not similar, but how linear this room is? Woo. And then, spin attack again. They all come like one after another. Then there's two. And there are more are gonna fall. Three, I think. Nope, just two. Uh, then there's four. I'll die. They all are die. I didn't... What? Okay, even better. Don't hit me, jerks. I want your... I want your brother's heart. Or your brother's hearts. Aha. I win. You gonna go away? Yay! Let's transform into a human and let's confront that sucker. AKA Zant. Oh, 
What? I didn't touch it. That was odd. Oh, fairy. Need. But actually, I'm going to save this for the next part. So on the next episode of Let's Play Twilight Princess, we will confront Zant. So see you guys next time.